Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Let's do a quick foundation review over the new Charlotte Tilbury Unreal Skin Sheer Glow Tint Hydrating Foundation Stick. I bought the new Charlotte Tilbury Foundation Stick straight from the Charlotte Tilbury website. There were no undertones listed. In fact, the shade range is just very odd to me because it's listed as multiple fairs, then some mediums, and so on and so on. But there were no undertones, so it was really difficult for me to pick my shade. According to Sephora's website, the shade that I picked, number one fair, is listed as neutral in undertone. The next one up is fair with warm, 1.5, and then fair with cool is too fair, which I think would be a little too dark. This is $46, you get nine grams of product, and it's a 12 month shelf life. Mine came detached, like it was out of the actual package. I had to push it in. My experience with the Charlotte Tilbury website has not been a good one. Several things I have bought from there have come broken multiple times. So unlike the Charlotte Tilbury, that is nine grams of product for $46, the Westman Atelier is also nine grams, but this one is $68. So you're paying $22 more for the same amount of product. And although the Tom Ford Traceless Soft Matte, I think that's what this is, the Traceless Foundation Stick is discontinued. This one was $88 and it's 15 grams of product. The Tom Ford, which I truly love and am saddened that they discontinued, is more of a natural, buildable, light medium finish. And the Westman Atelier is just more of a light finish and I really could not build it up too much. So I'm curious to see how well this one works building upon itself and just how the entire glow looks on its own without anything underneath kind of boosting it. Just to kind of test the coverage, I want to use my NARS primer on one side of my face only, not on the entire face. I kind of want to see how luminous, luminous, how luminous this product is without any help. So I'm gonna use it only on the right side of my face. I've seen a couple of the pictures so far. I haven't watched any reviews for a reason. I want to build my own opinion on it. I got mine yesterday, today is Thursday. I didn't I didn't order mine off Sephora because I wanted to get it in the mail a little bit quicker, but honestly, I probably should have ordered it off Sephora. I have just never had a good experience with the Charlotte Tilbury website. I wanna try this product without any color correcting. The package I just wanna show you is pretty cheap feeling. It's very lightweight. Like I mentioned previously in the video, it was not put together when it arrived. It's a twist top, so there's only so much product in here to begin with. I'm not gonna twist it all the way up just because, well, maybe I will, let's see. If it breaks on me, I'm sorry, it was for science. Well, I don't have the Fenty Beauty foundation stick. I was never interested in that one. The shade looks like it'll be good for my skin tone. I'm gonna swatch it here on the back of my arm. Ooh, that is, quite luminous, like um, like a natural highlight. Hopefully it looks better on my skin though. So I'm gonna try this on both sides of my face. One side here on the right has the primer. I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush. My chin is looking so dry and it feels dry. Okay. So let me just blend out here on the left side of my face first to kind of see what it would look like without any primer and to see how the coverage is on its own. The tone looks like it's gonna work just great for my skin. And honestly, it looks more cool tone than it does neutral. Oh, this is very sheer. Hopefully this kind of builds upon its own and looks natural when it's built up. This is the left side of my face with no primer, sheared out. I mean, it is very glowy, very glowy. This is the side that has the NARS primer. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. And I like the NARS primer because it's really glowy, but it works just as well as my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. So I'm curious to see how much glowier it'll get with this primer. Mm. 
And just for reference, I have normal to dry skin with a cool undertone. I am 39, so I have fine lines. I tend to do pretty well taking care of my skin. I don't have a very in-depth skincare regimen. I actually am pretty, pretty simple with it. Just some Aquaphor, some moisturizer at night. And a little tretinoin every night. Which is why my chin is so dry and a little cracked. <laughs> Bring it down my neck just a touch. Okay, this is both sides blended out. The NARS primer side, no primer side. It's very luminous on both sides and very, very sheer. It's so sheer, I did no color correcting. I can still see some of my age spots there. A little bit of the redness around my chin, which definitely needed to help. And the bags under my eyes. I mean, you can see all of my freckles still on my nose. So this is a very, very no makeup makeup type of foundation. And I want to say just from memory, the Tom Ford and the Westman Atelier gave me more coverage than this, but matte. So I'm going to go ahead and build this up. I'm going to put it on both sides of my face one more time. Sephora's website says this is a light coverage, hydrating frown foundation foundation stick in 20 flexible shades that glides and blends for a weightless second skin finish coverage is light finish is radiant I prefer more satin finishes so my goal right now is to see if it will build upon itself It kind of feels like I have a highlighter on my skin. To be honest with you, I'm not really sure I like how luminous it is, especially for the minimal coverage it's giving. I feel like it would look better if it gave slightly more coverage, more along the lines of a light medium as opposed to a very sheer light coverage. This just feels too much for a sheer coverage. So ignore the dry patches here around my mouth and my chin. That is just from tretinoin and my skin being very dry right now. However, the foundation, it's very lovely. It's very luminous, very, very luminous, more so than I thought it would be. Honestly, like I mentioned, it feels like a highlighter on my skin. I'm not first impressions in love with that type of finish. I would like more coverage for this type of finish. However, I built it up and it doesn't really look like it gave me more coverage built up. It just looks like I'm more luminous, but without the coverage. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and finish my makeup the way I normally would. However, I've pulled out most of my luminous or more hydrating products. I wanna use things that kind of accentuate the glow that I've got going on here. And then I'm gonna check back in with you when I'm finished to kind of see how it looks. Most of this is not going to be like a no makeup makeup look because honestly, with the eyes I have going on, I wanted it to look just a little bit more put together. I just don't think we're going to get there, but we'll see. My face makeup is finished. I finished my eyes with the bright lashes in the half style flutter. I'm pretty sure these are done for. It's looking bunched up on this left eyelash here. I probably should, should have thrown it away a couple lashes, a couple lashes, a couple wears ago. It is what it is. So if it looks weird, oh well, here we are. I have to tell you, I was expecting a little bit more coverage when I built this up. I had high hopes for this. I don't own any other Charlotte Tilbury foundations. This thing just feels like a highlighter on my skin. Now, I was already aware that it's a luminous sheer finish. However, it's just too sheer. I wasn't expecting something like this to be this luminous. I don't think that the NARS primer made it more or less luminous. In fact, I can ver barely tell the difference between the left side of my face with no primer and the right side of my face with the primer. It just looks very, very luminous. That said, I don't understand why this was launched in the middle of summer as opposed to winter. This feels more like a no makeup makeup product that should have been launched in the winter. Not something that I would wear during the summer when I'm more oily and sweaty and honestly I'm not even sure how anyone with dry to oily skin, sorry not dry, normal to oily skin or just oily skin would get away with this during the summer. Even for no makeup makeup, it's going to slide all over your face. Me being dry skin, maybe not so much, but I do like to be outdoors and I do like to work out so I can't even wear it in that environment to begin with. I would never wear something this luminous at work. I love no makeup makeup looks for work. I just can't wear this one for work because this is just so 
highlighted. It doesn't look like a, oh, does she just have healthy skin? Has she been drinking her water and eating her vegetables? No, it really does just look like luminous makeup. Not so much like it's just my skin. And I don't have a lot of texture and age spots and wrinkles to begin with. So this feels more like some product that was designed for a younger consumer with no skin concerns or very minimal skin concerns. And for winter, not so much for summer. While I don't feel like my pores are accentuated, I could definitely tell that I have a little bit more pore noticeability in the center of my face. I don't have large pores, but I can see them in my mirror. I can tell that they're there. And that's the nature of having a more highlighted product on your face, right? So you're gonna see those textures, those imperfections. If you're someone with oily skin, moderate to a lot of skin issues, I would definitely steer clear of this. This is just not something that I would recommend to someone I cared about with skin issues in general. But then on top of it, this time of the summer? That being said, I love things that are more medium to full buildable coverage. I know this is sheer, but I was really hoping I could build it up to a light coverage. Did not really see that happen whatsoever. I don't know how long this is gonna last on my skin. It might have great longevity for all I know, but that's yet to be seen. I have a lot of other things I need to get done today, so I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. Otherwise though, it doesn't look like it's sitting on my skin. It doesn't look like I have clumping up and it doesn't look as though like it's settling into those lines. It does look nice. It looks lovely. It feels soft on my skin. It's just really luminous and to a point that even I am not super fond of. But hopefully I haven't rambled on too much and I didn't lose you guys there. Everything on my face is listed down below if you click on those links to make a purchase. I do earn a small commission, so thank you so much for supporting my channel. I appreciate you guys more than you know. My eyes, by the way, these are not gonna be in a video at all. This is not a tutorial. I just wanted to do something fun with some single products that I have. I felt creative and I wanted to do something. Otherwise, you guys have a wonderful day. Do something for yourself because you are worth it.